In Ecclesiastes 9, Solomon writes in verse 2, the same destiny ultimately awaits everyone. Whether righteous or wicked, good or bad, ceremonially clean or unclean, religious or irreligious, good people receive the same treatment as sinners, and people who make promises to God are treated like people who don't. Now you've got to remember with me that Solomon's book is written from the perspective of life lived under the sun, meaning a life lived without the revelation of who God is and how much he loves us by giving his son Jesus to die for us. And Solomon says, you know the thing I've noticed? Everyone experiences the same fate. Now here's the thing. We all share the same earthly finale, but we don't all have the same eternal future. You see, for all of us, death is not an accident. It's an appointment. Hebrews 9 says this, it just as it's appointed for man to die once, and after that, the judgment. See, it's appointed. And Solomon says, it's true. Every single person's life will one day come to an end, and we all share the same earthly finale, but not the same fate. See, for those of us who have trusted Jesus, death, known as the last enemy throughout Scripture, it's been defeated. But for those who haven't, death is an enemy that no amount of morality, accomplishment, prestige, or power can overpower. Only Jesus can do that. And as you read through this chapter today, you'll see that Solomon, he, he really hones in on the reality that death is certain and life's unpredictable. So the absolute best thing you could do with your life and your eternal state is to trust it safely into the capable hands of Jesus. You see, even though life is full of twists and turns, we find peace in knowing that God holds our destiny in his hands. No matter the challenges we face and the uncertainties we encounter, faith and trust in God provides us with the strength to persevere and the hope for our future forever home with him.